I'm Dr Malcolm Hudson. I'm Director of Plastic Pollution Research at the University of Southampton. Plastic pollution is a complex global issue which requires an interdisciplinary approach. So we've become increasingly aware of the amount of plastic that is actually ending up in our seas and our oceans. Scientists have estimated that it could be as much as 10 million tonnes a year is ending up in the sea and we don't know what the consequences of that will be. So we come down to Mayflower Park uh, in Southampton to look at this a little bit more. So just on the strand line, we've got packaging that's breaking down, obviously been in the sea for a long time. We've got stuff from food and drink, so the drinks container, something from a fast food outlet. Uh, this was maybe someone's breakfast. Um, and we've also got things that maybe led to some of this stuff being here from the, from the maritime or shipping industry. So little bits of netting or rope that was maybe used for tying things up on a ship. So these things can break down into small and smaller pieces and get into the marine ecosystem and then potentially even end up in the human food chain. 91% of the plastics that we produce each year don't get recycled and quite a lot of that gets lost and can end up in the marine environment. So if we focus in on the very familiar plastic bottle, we all use these. We produce a million of these every minute around the world and the great majority of them are not reused or recycled, they're just thrown away. And that really illustrates the throwaway culture that we have globally these days. We now don't have systems in place to manage these waste materials properly. Many of these, as we know, end up in the oceans. And what happens then? These are very durable materials. These could last for hundreds or thousands of years. And when they start to break down into smaller fragments, they can then have more serious long-term consequences for marine ecosystems. Now, it's easy to get into a negative mindset about plastics when you see all of this waste, but we should just consider how important plastic has become to us. The plastic industry produces over 300 million tonnes of plastic each year, and that's still increasing. And a lot of it isn't going to items that are, that are useless. A lot, a lot of it is actually very useful to us. We can't just leave plastic behind at a stroke, but we do have to find ways of actually managing it more prudently and dealing with the waste in a way that doesn't damage the environment. So as we've heard, plastics is a global problem that needs a global solution. It's so important that the United Nations have started an initiative to try to get the countries of the world working together to tackle some of the problems associated with plastic waste and the pollution of our oceans. It's also a very complicated problem, so complicated that we need a range of interdisciplinary expertise to deal with this. And at Southampton we're really well placed to do this with the range of scientific expertise we have across the university. So this includes environmental scientists, waste management experts and engineers who can work with business and industry to find solutions. It includes marine ecologists and physiologists, chemists and sedimentologists who can help us to understand what's happening to species and ecosystems. And it also includes oceanographers and modellers who can better understand ocean circulations so we can understand what's happening at the global scale. So as we've heard, this is a global challenge, but everyone can play a role in helping to solve it. And that can be individuals, families and communities, it can be schools and universities, it can be business, industry and government. Everyone has a role to play, and between us, we can help to protect the future health of our oceans.